Let's bring in White House economic advisor Jared Bernstein for more on the announcement. Jared, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's talk first of all about what this is going to do for the economy. What's it going to do for jobs, first of all? What do you expect as far as uh, shovel ready projects, short term gains, and jobs? Uh, we expect tens of thousands of jobs. In fact, uh, that's a, a, a count that uh, derives from the applicants themselves. A hundred grants uh, 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 announced today by the president. And you mentioned the uh, $3.4 billion helping to create those tens of thousands of jobs. Uh, it's also the case that, that our investment here from the Recovery Act is leveraged up to the tune of $4.7 billion more dollars from the private sector actors themselves. They've got real skin in the game here. So this is win-win for the American consumer who's going to face lower energy bills once these smart meters start getting to work and folks can uh, price their energy use uh, at, uh, at more efficient times, as well as good jobs, non-tradable jobs, by the way, for folks here at home. What does it mean, though, Jared, for energy savings and carbon emissions? I mean, can you give me some numbers here? Sure. We're talking about something like a 4% savings over the next uh, couple of decades, which is, it, 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 uh, redu uh, means a, a, about a $20 billion uh, savings uh, bill for uh, the American uh, consumer of, of energy. And remember, that's renewable energy produced uh, here at home, uh, moved over the, the smart grid as opposed to importing fossil fuels from abroad. Is it, I mean, a profitable deal for, the, obviously the companies are getting this grant money here for free, but do they end up making money on these uh, new devices they install, these digital meters, uh, new thermostats? Does that bring them anything? Well, I we mean... Well, certainly, we, the, these companies are private companies, many cases, or private public utilities. They're, they're, they're motivated by, by profits out there. But I think what's, what's important here is that it's, uh, it's not just uh, government uh, grant money through the Recovery Act. Actually, at a rate of about, uh, for every dollar we're putting in, uh, these investors are putting in $1.4. So they're leveraging up our investment. And by the way, we're talking about profits here generated from renewable energy production. One of this president's fundamental goals in terms of building a new foundation in the energy space here is to seriously accelerate the use of renewable energies in order to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Jared, the only thing I'm trying to understand is if this saves the consumer money and it makes the power companies more money, uh, if it's a smart economic decision, why do we have to step in then and take taxpayer ah. money to do this rather than having the electric company and the consumer <laughs> do it themselves? It's a great economic question, and I, and, I, and I have an economic answer for you, which is <laughs> that especially at a time when we're facing credit constraints, uh, I, I think they've loosened somewhat, as, as you know, but they're still out there. Businesses still face them. Uh, there are startup costs that can be uh, a, a very tough barrier for these firms who are making initial, often significant investments moving into new areas like this. So even if credit weren't constrained, we often have this negative externality where firms are unable to make the optimal startup cost investments. But in a climate of constrained credit, uh, I think that's even a tougher problem. So our seed capital, uh, I think, is coming just at the right time here. Jared, you know, I think everybody's thinking well, how is this really going to help the economy? We're looking at a day where we had consumer confidence unexpectedly falling for a second month in October, still millions out of work, um, still worried right. about the economy. I mean, how does this really help? Well, look, I mean, we are acutely aware of every single daily economic report exactly like the one you just mentioned. And, of course, the job story is one that we wake up and go to bed with every day trying to, to squeeze every job out of every dollar in the Recovery Act. I think in this case, you have to take a longer-term view in terms of the investment we're making in boosting renewable energy. But actually, in the shorter term, we are talking about the creation of tens of thousands of new jobs. Right. And, and I was on the I was on the phone last night with some of these uh, 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 folks, and 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 they are actually talking about getting this stuff to work in in a matter of months. Right. You know, we've talked about this with you before. I mean, you take the longer term view. A lot of folks are doing that, and they're worried about the long term view of the deficit. We've got a guest on, Jason Trenner. We've been talking about the deficit with. I mean, how do you, what happens? I mean, can you grow your way out of the deficit? We're doing so much spending. 
Well, I don't know that you grow your way out of the deficit. I think that in order to bring the budget deficit down to sustainable levels, it's going to take precisely the kinds of uh, uh, of, of spending and tax uh, changes that you're going to hear about as we tax get changes. further <laughs> as we get further in, as we get further into our 2011 discussion. Well, look, I mean, if you're talking about the budget deficit, does, uh, does the change does the word change mean increase? No, I'm simply not going to go there. I'm simply saying that if you're talking about the budget deficit, what you're talking about is a, 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 a set of moves that are going to be extremely important as this economy gets back on its feet and begins to generate the jobs and incomes that people just aren't getting now. Now, we talked a second ago about how much the typical American is, is, is okay. struggling in this economy. So at that point, our concern has to be to squeeze every All job right. out of every dollar we as we move forward we get that's when the that's when we ramp down uh, the uh, the recovery Jared, spending thank you so much We're